dear audience how are you nice to see you again today i'm trying to introduce you one of the famous lady from 1820 till 1930 almost she lived in america and uh, harriet tubman she what she did is more than 1000 slaves she tried to let them escape from slavery she used different tactics but the hard time for her was to convince them to to be free they were so used to be being a slave but she tried to explain them the freedom fruit what is the freedom fruit is so finally she got success now many countries came into existence because of the freedom nations need freedom look at in the ancient days I show you one example. Here, before BC, people they fought wars for freedom, and after they get the freedom, then they try to. establish the civilization then from civilization they learn how to do the trade in the world so look at this after the trade era this is what i'm talking about bc before christ era then in different fields then they worked on science and then the many scientists they learn about the stars they learn about the living things and the technology they discovered innovated but all these things happened only once they were free in the society then they found out how to tell the other people the importance of freedom so they established you know auditorium open air auditorium look at this you can see it so from there actors with their dialogues they convert messages to the other people the importance of freedom how to live happily how to live civilized you know in civilization there should not be any clash clash is totally different and the civilization is different clash has no place in the civilization then you can be civilized so my point of view is you know just to live free to become a free nation so we do not need dictation from other powers from other country we should make our own decisions our own policies our own systems how to run the government once you take the dictation orders and you become coward you can't live happily you can't feel the taste of freedom you can't eat the fruit of freedom so if somebody tell you if somebody guide you to be a free person to be a free nation just listen carefully do not go after 
his or her character. See the practical. If somebody is standing for you to make you a free person, make you a free nation, to, to live freely, enjoy the freedom, uh, give him or her some respect. She got the Nobel Prizes. You know, that time it was very hard to convince slaves, but she tried and she got the success. So my dear, why don't we have a freedom garden over here in our country? Why can't we be free about moving around, respecting each other, instead of just uh, grabbing, you know, dominating each other, hating each other. It is not good. I'm telling you, time is very short. World is changing. We must unite, we must respect each other, and all the institutions in our country should work honestly. They should not be dishonest to their citizens and to, towards everything. They should have to be fair and fair justice should be everywhere in the country. I hope you got my message. It is a little bit of lengthy, but what can I do? I like to test the freedom. I want to eat the fruit of freedom. So, I wish you can learn from her efforts. Efforts, I mean. Take care of yourself. Be happy. And God bless you. Bye-bye. Take care.